Hello. Um, MATLAB integration is a very common topic. Uh, integrating uh, system engineering models in SysML with design models and analysis models in MATLAB and Simulink. There are multiple ways to integrate uh, uh, models, uh, but uh, there is also out-of-the-box capability to do that. Uh, you can use MATLAB as an evaluator and use uh, pretty much anything what you can access from command line in MATLAB directly from uh, SysML simulation in Cambia. And that's like generic interface we use with other math tools. Uh, and uh, users, uh, in most cases, they do have those models in the house. Today we want, uh, to which way we want to integrate. We, today we want to show one more uh, case when we want to pass array of the values because uh, as you know, MATLAB works with arrays uh, by default, uh, every value is array. And uh, in Cameo, you can also create arrays. As you can see here, we have a multiplicity menu, right? Uh, for the value. And then in the instance, we created that, uh, you know, values, uh, three values for this one, uh, depending on the property uh, here. Is it unique, you know, is it uh, ordered? We have those values uh, also constrained. Then when we simulate, simulation run, we get this uh, uh, activity uh, which has opaque action to read the value from the property to pass it as array to the function which will multiply array by two. And this one is done, uh, as you can see here, by MATLAB. So language is the MATLAB. And then output, you know, uh, store back to the value and then some delay, you know, just to see results here in simulation. So let's run it. And you can see here, actually, there is uh, first time when you execute, you know, math engine is started because MATLAB is, was not yet uh, started in headless mode, you know, so first start takes some time. And uh, when it is done, we'll get result and we'll uh, see results here. And no results for sure because I was executing the block, so block has no value, values were stored in instance. So now let's run again. You'll see now that it will not take time, you know, to run this math MATLAB file, MATLAB call, you know, run. As you can see, values are passed here. MATLAB was called. So you can see multiplied by two, right? So X came as X here, multiplied by two, and we got results. So as you can see here, we can pass the arrays of values from the Cameo to the MATLAB and uh, manipulate that in the MATLAB, whatever, MATLAB um, functions we can call uh, and get result back here. Uh, there is uh, some uh, uh, things to consider. So for example, the pin multiplicity should be many. This is a very important thing, multiplicity many, multiplicity many, right? And the same here, multiplicity many. Without that, it will not work. Uh, also, those elements are opaque actions. Uh, here you can find them, opaque actions here. Also, how to store the values, you know, in the in the uh, array, you know, for the uh, block, you know, this instance is required. So now let's let's do this very quickly, you know, let's create, you know, this model to demonstrate how that looks like. So we have the block, right? Now we want to pass some values to the MATLAB and get results, you know, leverage the MATLAB capability, right? So we will create behavior to call the MATLAB. We can use also parametric diagram to call the MATLAB. So we'll get the create uh, diagram, activity diagram. We need to test that, check that it would be the main behavior, classify behavior, it's all good, you know. And then we'll read from A. So put the opaque uh, action. We'll say like X equal A. Let's zoom in, X equal A, output uh, x because this is runtime variable right and here another one will be like uh, uh, coming here let's say it comes as a x and it will be like z equal uh, 3 multiplied by x right so it will multiply this array by 3 and z will be output let's pass this output and we could store this, uh, you know, somewhere already, you know, but um, let's pass it uh, here. 
and he can come as uh, for example x and then store like c equal x as you can see here now c is the property of the block so it will get this as an input and then uh, let's delay a little bit to see we need like relative delay 50 seconds units you can type here see here will delay in order to see results without actually storing them somewhere you know as you can see i have no initial node because it will go just automatically from the action which does not have the inputs uh, and also as you know we don't have the value so to store the values we need to set multiplicity to something like for example four here then run this block simulation run and create the instance one way to create the instance you can create directly in simulation variables panel here we have four multiplicity add values and actually before doing that maybe let's set, set that it is is not unique uh, and disorder it let's say like that you know and then uh, let's uh, let's go here run the simulation run add values add values add values add values and that's that's it multiplicity is four so limited to four if it would be unique so it would not allow to add uh, any two sim same values so now i will add one two three four right it's real values order it should keep the order and now we can save this to instance so let's save it to instance why we save it to instance because block default value does not have the array capability so here we have save as instance we have now array of the values so you can see if we want to save uh, to the default value we just need to choose one of those values so not all of them will be saved right so that's why Okay, and now we can run this uh, from this instance simulation run and see is it working or not so slow down execute we get the input and we forgot about multiplicity as you see like because multiplicity was uh, not uh, defined we get this only one value so again multiplicity many multiplicity many multiplicity many multiplicity many also we forgot to set the language here for this one as a matlab open language actually bodden language we need to go here to bodden language and choose language as a matlab okay close now let's run it again so array matlab call multiply by three and order it so all that works so check also other cases and uh, videos on matlab integration which you will find uh, in this youtube channel